beautiful Leos and welcome to your Leo plus Virgo love reading for October 2023 time is fluid and Leo I have you on this side Virgo on the other for you Leo and Virgo cross watchers for some of you the reading can resonate backwards reverse flip so do assign the roles as you wish take what's yours leave the rest behind and most importantly, do not force a reading to fit. If it's not yours this time around, it just may not be yours, and that's okay. So Leo, in your feelings, we have the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. All right, in Virgo's feelings for you, we have the Hierophant. We have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Page of Cups. All right, Leo. So let's start off with you. You have the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. I feel like for some of you, you may have decided to stop putting effort into a Virgo. Some of you just felt like things were too confusing for you. Things felt too up in the air for you. Or some of you just may have felt like an option to this Virgo. And you may have decided to say, instead of waiting on feeling like you're the one... And you may just kind of be doing nothing. Doesn't mean you don't have feelings for this person. Um, your feelings do look confused if you do have any. Um, but I feel like some of you are just not in the position of wanting to be confused about a love situation. And you're kind of just like, I'll just stay to myself because it's better than feeling confused. Some of you may have been dealing with an uncommittal Virgo because they have the Hierophant, the Seven of Wands, and the Page of Cups. Some of you may just felt like you were just staying on this one level with this Virgo. It could have been causing you a sense of confusion, or you may have just been tired of the weight around this level. They have the Hierophant to the Seven of Wands, so they do feel spiritually connected to you, but they struggle with higher level commitment. They struggle with settling down and being committal. With the Page of Cups here, I do feel like this person has feelings for you. I feel like their feelings in are influx, influctuating, or they influctuate. It's like some days their feelings for you are a lot stronger than other days. And I feel like they may actually be thinking about reaching out to you or apologizing to you or trying to make a peace offering with you. Um, or even just to communicate with you. I feel like this person is struggling with wondering where your effort has gone or wondering where your energy has been. Let's see. Show me Leo's future actions towards Virgo and Virgo's future actions towards Leo. You know what? I feel like for some of you, if you are in a relationship with a Virgo, I feel like for some of you, you may have stopped putting in as much effort or maybe you're not like arguing with them about something that you used to always argue with them about. It's like I get this person is like confused and where your energy is. So for some of you, if you're around this person, I feel like they're just a bit up in the, um, not up in the air, but it's like they're struggling with figuring out why or where your effort is going. So let's see. Show me Leo's future actions towards Virgo and Virgo's future actions towards Leo. Leo, in your future actions, we have the Wheel of Fortune. The world and the king of wands. Virgo's future actions towards you are the fool, death, and the six of wands. All right, so I feel like for some of you, you may have ended ended things with a Virgo. Somehow, some way, whatever you were doing, you're not doing anymore. So either you were really passionate, really enthusiastic, really effort putting, really talkative. It's like somewhere your energy feels missing to this person. I feel like they are going to try to get your attention after feeling like things have ended or changed drastically between the two of you. I feel like this Virgo is going to try to give you more of their time and energy to get you to give you them more of your time and energy. Because you do have the King of Wands here. So I feel like for some of you, you are trying to grow 
and or find a creative outlet to place your feelings for this Virgo into so you can move on and get over this connection. But I feel like this person's like going to try to stop you in your tracks of moving on. Let's see, you have the King of Wands, so the Seven of Swords, the Moon, and the Two of Swords. Woo-hoo! All right. Remember what I said in the beginning. Some of you, especially my Virgo cross watchers, this could be backwards, okay? Uh -huh. Some of you feel like Virgo just wants to get into your pants. Uh-huh. Some of you may feel like this person is like an F-boy or F-girl or whatever they call those nowadays. Um, you look like you, f you feel like you should avoid this person. Some of you just feel like they're only wanting your attention or they only want whatever your body entails. Mm-hmm. They, you have, they have the six of wands towards you with temperance, seven of pentacles, chariot, devil, seven of wands. <sighs> Why is that there? Three of Cups. This person's going to try to make things right with you. This person's going to try to reconcile with you. This person's going to try to, like, vie for your energy, vie for your attention. Um, but I feel like you may see them a bit more clearly now. But they're going to try to tempt you back into their energy. They're going to try. Mm-hmm. They will attempt to. It's like if they had a fishing rod and they were putting it in the water, they're trying to catch themselves a Leo to reel in specifically you. So you may find yourself a little bit indecisive. You do have clarity to know that you may be better off avoiding this person. But, you know, when feelings are involved and stuff like that. Seven of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Okay, Eight of Wands. So you feel like you don't get anywhere with this person. Eight of Wands to the Page of Swords. All right, so some of you may feel like this person says a lot of things, but they don't do a lot of things. Um, so that could be something that you feel like is repetitive with this person, but it definitely looks like this person is going to try to reconcile with you. I feel like you and Virgo may have been away from each other for quite some time. Some of you may have been silent treatment, not communicating, separated, whatever the case may be, or just in a bit of a push and pull energy where they push, you pull, you push, they pull, things like that. Like when they want to see you, you're like mad about it and maybe unavailable, but when you want to see them, they're busy, right? That's the push and pull. Um, so it looks like they're going to come in with a little bit of a nudge here. They're going to try to nudge you in the, into their energy. But honestly, they have the Seven of Wands here twice, so I still feel like their energy is uncommittal. But you know, that happens a lot, especially, I mean, Earth signs as well. Um, like, people think that they're ready for love. People think that that's what they want. But when they're actually in the experience of it, they let the fear take hold. Or they come to a realization that they still need to heal their heart. Or they still need that. They still need this. So... There's a very high possibility this Virgo could be aware of their unhealthy habits... And or that they're not. But let's see what we have in the Oracle. One for Leo, one for Berg Virgo. Let's see, Leo. On your side, you have mute. Yeah, you're... I'm telling you. I don't know what you were doing before, but you're on mute now. And they have Observer. Oh, they watching you. This person's watching you somehow, some way. It doesn't matter if your profile is public. They still searching you up or your profile's private um on mute you have forgiveness they have patience you have numbing they have guide you have separation they have admired you have signs they have compromise all right so you're gonna get signs about this person you may see their birthday their name um you're gonna spirit's gonna give you signs that this person's coming back around um, there is the Hierophant here, so there is some sort of spiritual lesson to learn through this connection or together. 
Um, so that could be why there's so much like signs and synchronicities of a recurrence of a person. Um, and I love that. People always are like, oh my gosh, two, 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 they must be my soulmate. No, not all the time. Sometimes you just get two, two, two. Spirit wants you to be aware of who's coming in. Um, for your spiritual growth. So this is your advice card that wanted to fly out. And it is, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Which I already feel like you are doing or possibly in October will decide to do. So some of you may come back to this reading and be like, uh-huh, there you go. Um, but this person is definitely going to come around to have a compromising conversation with you eventually. But it does look like your best bet right now is to keep to yourself. So thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Leos, Virgos, if you're here watching. Thank you as well. Keep in mind, this could be totally reversed. Don't shoot the messenger, right? So thank you, my beautifuls. I'll talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you are at in the world. And Leo, if you're interested in cross-watching a Virgo reading, I do have my All Sign channel up and running again. You can find that on your homepage. Scroll down to the featured channels. You'll see my channel, Miss Machiste. And that's where you can find Virgo's October Love Reading. You are also in their reading at the end of the spread. Um, so if you're super interested in that, definitely head over to my main channel. Um, you also have a love reading on there as well if you want to compare. So that's what I have here for you, Leos. I love y'all so, so very much. Talk to you soon. Bye now.